Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another build video. So I'm gonna try to explain this to you. Um, let me just show you what we got. So my daughters, <laughs> being the girls they are, they acquired this basketball goal from somebody here in our neighborhood, an older gentleman whose kids grew up off of college now, they don't use it anymore. And uh, they went down to the house to see if he would sell it to them and he ended up just giving it to them. But as you can tell, it doesn't have a backboard on it at the moment. It's got the frame for a backboard. But uh, it was just like a plexiglass backboard. And this thing is old. So it, uh, needless to say, let me show you what we got here. This is the backboard or what's left of the plexiglass piece. And um, yeah, this is old brittle. It's cracking. Yeah, it's falling apart. So what we're going to do is looked on Amazon I was going to just buy a new backboard for it and Jesus for one shipping times are absolutely ridiculous thanks Joe Biden and third or second of all I guess it's uh they're really expensive they're over a hundred bucks just for a backboard I don't want to spend that much money on that because I don't know how much use this thing's going to get I mean it it might get used a lot by the kids and it might be sitting at the end of the road gifted to somebody else by the end of the year who knows so what I'm gonna do is I have some fencing boards left over from when I built my fence last year. And um, I'm just gonna build them a wooden backboard that'll mount to that frame we already have out there. So hopefully you can follow along and uh, hopefully by the time we're done, we have a new backboard. All right, folks, so uh, got all the wood cut. Thing clamps gluing up. Don't laugh at it. I know it is. It's fencing material, right? <laughs> so. That's okay, but here's what we got so far. So we got the actual size we need. It's 39 inches long by 26 inches tall. Uh, I do got it glued up right now on clamps. And these are gonna be some back supports. I already pulled measurements. They should fall right in between. Let me zoom in here so I can get it exact. They should fall in between the outer edge of the backboard and let's see if we can get my finger here to work. Where are we at, where are we at? Okay, so, my bad. They're gonna fall in that gap right there, okay? So, that's where these are gonna fall at. But, um, yeah, I think this is gonna work just fine. So I'm gonna let these dry up for a little bit because these pieces I'm using right now to clamp just to hold it flat are right in the way where these need to mount. So, we'll let it dry up for a little while and then uh, get those mounted and then we'll be able to flip it over and I'm gonna use what I got left of the old one as a template to trace out to get the right the radiuses and uh, yeah hopefully we can get this cut out and start sanding on it a little bit get it somewhat smooth I think we're just going to stain it black get some white spray paint put some white lines on it we'll be good to go we'll see y'all here in a little while all right guys give you a little update here on the backboard made one mistake that i see so far <laughs> there might be more in the future here but uh it's camera so here's the backboard itself it's cut to shape i was able to use the old what's left of it there as a template so now it's time to start sanding on it here's my mistake i made and i knew this when i was gluing it up but this board here there's a big chunk missing and when I glued it, and I know you're thinking we'll just flip it around and use it. Well, I can't because I already put my back supports on it here. So, oh well, it is what it is. I still don't even know if this is going to work, but I think it will. I'm going to try the orbital sander. More than likely, I'm going to have to get the belt sander out and actually really sand this smooth now. That way I can get a nice finish on it. And uh, I'm going to round over the edges on all of it. And we'll put some stain on it. Hopefully this works. See you on a little while. All right, guys, let me put some stain on this thing. I actually went ahead and stained the back side of it already. Wasn't really necessary, but uh, you can see the back side of it when it's mounted on the basketball goal itself. And uh, I didn't want it to look stupid, look like wood up there. So I went ahead and threw some stain on the back side real quick. I did, uh, sorry, I'm staining while I'm trying to talk to y'all. I did go ahead and pre fit it. That way I can pre-drill all my holes in it and I know what length of bolts I need to buy so I can bolt this up on there. 
But uh, I'll show you now. So it is all done and sanded. Like I said, all them runs there will be, they'll go away once we stain it. But that's just from uh, sanding the backside first. Uh, I got all my pre drilled holes in it. So I'm going to put some stain on it, then go to the store and get the hardware I need. Hopefully, this thing will be dry by the time I get back from the store, dry enough where I can lay out the square that goes in the center of it. And, uh, yep, we keep rocking and rolling. See y'all later. Hi, right, guys. Just got back from making a couple runs in the store, getting stuff for dinner, and getting hardware to mount this backboard when we get ready. So, the stain is dry. Still hate that damn gap right there. I wish. Wish I'd have been paying attention to what I was doing and put that board the other way, but it'll be alright. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we'll pull some measurements and get the square lined up for the box, you know. The bank's always open when you're playing basketball, so I'm going to try to set the camera up for you guys because I, I know lately I've just been telling you what I'm going to do and then the video pops back up and it's done. So I'm going to try to set the camera up and let you all watch me lay this out and obviously I'll fast forward it because it'll probably... Probably take me a little while to get it right, so we'll be back. As you saw, I just masked the whole thing up. Mask tape wasn't sticking very good in some spots, but uh, I think it'll be all right. Worst come to worst, I can always paint the white and then let it dry, put a coat of clear around it, and then mask up again and do like a red trim all the way around the box, maybe. I don't know. It'll work though. It'll be fine. So, um, let me show you all real quick so you can see it up close. Pretty much it, just a square, nothing special. I'm gonna hit it with some white paint and then uh, see what it looks like. All right, the white is sprayed and drying. And I want to show you something else I got set up here. Just a little detail sometimes, big difference. So I got all my bolts set up. Yes, I definitely went overkill, wasn't really thinking, but uh, it's gonna be 13 bolts holding this thing on. Now, these are galvanized carriage bolts, uh, quarter by, quarter 20 by three inch long. But you see I got 11 on this one and only two on this board here. The reason is I need these 11 to be black. I need two of these to be white. And the reason they need to be white is because two of the bolts are gonna go right into the square itself, which I know some of you probably thinking oh, it's gonna mess up shooting the ball if you're trying to bank it in well you know what 
my daughter's only 11. She's just learning basketball. So trust me, two whole carriage bolts in the square, they are not gonna mess her up at all. So this thing's just for fun, all right? I mean, she ain't, it's not like we're gonna be out here. Well, she might be out here every night shooting, who knows? But either way, these two little bolts in the, in the white square, they ain't gonna throw her off none. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolts painted, the bolt heads painted. Like I said, I got two to do white and the other 11 will be black. And then we'll unmask this and see if, uh, I don't know, we'll see how I feel. I don't know if I wanna put, it'd be cool to put a red pin strap around the whole box, but I don't know if I wanna do all that or not. We'll see, but we'll be back. Hi right, folks. So the square actually came out nicer than I expected, but um, against my better judgment, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to put a quarter inch red stripe around the outside and the inside of it. So the shot now, so this is the square right now. Um, I got, got my digital caliper set at a quarter inch. I also have this set at a quarter inch. That way I can get a good line all the way around it, tape it up hopefully, and spray some red for some stupid reason. But uh, also here's the bolts. The bolt heads are now painted and I put a coat of clear on them just to protect them. But we've got the white ones over here. They're looking good. So I think this is gonna, I think it's gonna turn out better than what I expected so far. I've got, um, Let's see, what do I got? I got seven dollars in bolts, washers, flat washers, and nuts, and then like maybe six or seven dollars, I guess, in that can of white paint. So maybe 14, we'll just say 15 just to make it even. Uh, everything else I already had, obviously, you know, the wood, the wood glue, uh, stain, brushes, I already had all that stuff. So we're getting there. We're getting really close to um, getting this done. Unfortunately, kids won't be able to play basketball today after school but they can play tomorrow I guess or yeah probably tomorrow because I'll get clear on it tonight and uh, then they can play later on tomorrow so we'll be back in a little bit I'm gonna I guess I can bore you guys with another video which will obviously be fast forwarded but another video of me laying out these lines for the red stripes I'm a little nervous about pulling that tape off of the white after this red dries. I don't know if it's going to peel it off or kind of fade it out. We'll see what it does. I don't know. But uh, we got some gloss cherry red right here we're going to spray. So once again, I'll get the camera set up and I'll film this for you. Alright guys, 
guys. Got it unmasked. As I figured, some of the white paint did peel a little bit. That's okay. Just got an early weathered look to it, I guess. And I got bored and uh, kind of stenciled the letter P on it for the kids. Uh, so what we got, that is it. You can see where the white, it did pull off a little bit in some spots. So that'd be all right though. But the red turned out nice, I think. And then we got the letter P. I, I should have, yes, I know, I got a masking issue right there, but it'd be all right, it'd be fine. So we'll let this dry up now, and then uh, we're gonna put some clear on it. And I'll show you what clear I got here. To bring you into my messy, messy workshop. Which one was I gonna use? Well, I thought I did. Maybe right here it is. It's for exterior use, oil base, semi-gloss. So that'll be it. Well, it's like somebody piled up a bunch of little finishing trim nails or something on it. But um, yeah, so once this thing dries up, that's what's going on it. You all see my mess I made again just by making a backboard today. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Another mess, lots of tools to put up, but that's okay. That's what it's all about, that's what the tools are for. If you don't make a mess, there ain't no use in having them. So uh, I guess next time you see this backboard, I'll uh, be either putting clear on it or already have it cleared and we'll be hanging it. So see y'all in a little while. It'll be a little while for you, It'll be a while for me.
folks that's a wrap on this project new backboard is up painted the rim orange put a new net on it I know it's not perfect actually turned out more rustic but uh somehow everything I do turns out rustic it's just from a habit of doing a woodworking business of rusted woodworking for the last four years so anyhow it's done kids can enjoy it play on it I think it turned out pretty cool so thanks for watching See y'all later.